Hello, hola and bonjour subscribers. It's uh, Matthew here, representing half of MB3. And today I'm here to talk about uh, the bicep. Not just the bicep brachii, but the whole anterior part of your arm. Now, I'm in anatomy now. Believe it or not, I'm actually learning something in school. I never thought it was possible, but here I am. Um, so, as may, many of you might know, you know you have your two heads of your bicep brachii, your short head here, more on the inside of your arm, and your long head out here, and then they connect together down here anyway. And then you have your brachialis, which is kind of this lower um, half of your arm. It connects on the humerus and then down across your elbow. So anyway, uh, something I thought was really interesting is that your brachialis muscle here, this sh shorter one, the one that you might see, I mean, I'm fat now, you can't see it, but you can kind of see it, a separation of it um, when you're cut down more. Anyway, it's right here, this bottom half of your arm. It is the main flexor at your elbow joint. It's the main flexor of your arm. So no matter where your arm is positioned, if it's supinated in like this, or pronated, like for a hammer curl or for a reverse grip curl, you're using your brachialis to pull in the weight to contract your arm or the elbow joint. So that brings a point up that Doug and I have always been wondering, no matter how hard we hit our biceps, it's always, you know when you get pump or whatever, the part right here always gets so hard and it's like, man, it's working so hard, and then up here it's like, it's just soft and jelly. I mean, it's not soft, but it's not nearly as uh, much blood in it. It's not nearly as in as much pump, as you'd say. So, the reasoning behind that is because no matter what bicep exercise you're doing, it's going to incorporate the brachialis. Now, for the biceps brachii, both heads, the only way they're going to be utilized is if you're in the, your arm is in the supinated position. So, like, straight bar curls, or, I mean, even dumbbells, when you're, just any time you're supinating your wrists inward, like, this. Uh, so that's the only time your bicep brachii, either head, is actually being utilized. Every other exercise, I mean, along with that, your brachialis is also, it's the main flexor of your arm, along with some of the, uh, some forearm flexors, but I won't get into that. Uh, so the main part of this, so the reasoning why it's so much harder and more in pump is because not only does it have the brachialis, which is involved in every movement of the bicep exercises, it also has the two heads forming into one of the bicep brachii. So you have kind of like two muscles on top of each other here. So there's more muscle mass on your bottom half, and that's why there's more blood going to it, that's why it's harder. So Doug could even learn a thing or two from this, because we've always been wondering that. I don't know about you guys. And so basically, the main point of this video, just kind of anatomical uh, information here. I know I'm sounding all smart. Maybe, maybe not at all. But uh, it's just that your bicep brachii is only being used, even though most people think of bicep brachii, like your whole uh, arm here, anterior forearm, is being used in when you're going like this. But in actuality, hammer curls, Anytime your wrist is pronated like this, reverse grip curls, anything like that, you're not using your bicep brachii at all. I mean, maybe slightly, but not nearly to a full potential or anything. So the most worked muscle in your anterior forearm here is actually your brachialis. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Hopefully you guys learned something today. Uh, if you like the video, you can like it, you can throw it on a comment, even subscribe. Remember, there's always more on the way, so stay tuned. Now that we have a few key points down, we can actually start the exercise. So you just want to hit 8 to 12 reps for hypertrophy to really build the muscle. And like I said, all you're doing is curling, squeezing at the top, 